Hello everybody, I'm Raphael Perry and it's time for some more Elden Ring. Yep, you heard that's right, I haven't played in a while. So let's do something about that. Uh, it's G for the map, isn't it, of all things. I would like to go up here and explore this area a bit, but I want to be careful. Don't want to get too out of my depth. So it's been a bit of a while since I played. I think I played a little bit with the practice characters over the last couple of weeks, but it's high time I got in there, pressed the wrong button, jump instead of pick up. <laughs> oh, we can tell this is going to be a fun beginning to a session, isn't it? Right. My goal here is exploration. Overall... I mean, what am I looking at to level, like, uh, six or seven thousand? Yeah, about seven thousand, so, like, six thousand more. So I can safely almost afford to lose a thousand. Now, I know there are two of those hardened warriors along this road. Plus, it's night time, so the bats may be out. Can I head up here and gain the attention of this one when he returns? And only him. I hear giants growling again. Sounds like it's off to the left. Up there, quite possibly. Now, I do want to be cautious and wait, because I want to tackle this one on familiar ground, so that if I lose these runes, they'll be relatively easy to reclaim. Which actually means going off to the right there, behind the trees on the other side of the road, that's a fairly safe area as well. Okay, he's not going to spot me unless I get closer. So I will absolutely do that. I see plants in the bushes I could pick up. To the left, and possibly just to the right there, off the edge of the screen. And now that he's almost returning, no, he's going off to there to the side a bit first. We'll see if I need to go that little bit closer, or if he'll spot me out here in the darkness, in the dead of night. Come on. Just keep striding this way. Hey! Wow. Okay, look, I'm going to just pick that. Um, I don't want him pulling his mate as well. So I have to come quite some way down here to get his attention. And I want him to spot me when his friend is not near him. Because the two of them over there together could have been a problem. I mean, one on his own is still a problem. These are mighty foes great adversaries who can do a lot of damage to me still. I have not yet perfected the art of defending against them. Look, are you going to come fight me or what? I'm tempted to step towards you, but I hope... There we go. I do not need to do so. Look, shields up and everything. Come and fight me. Right out here. Come on. Right. Okay, here he comes now. Got him! Got him! And he's dead. I did take one hit there, and that's a reasonable amount of life. I have this now. I have healing spell. I should remember that. And remember to use it. Now. I've never been past this second warrior along the road here. I see Skull. Skull is my friend. Oh, there's a body on the road. Right. You, sir. I will face you here on this pathway. On this wooded trail. When you care to turn this way.
Turn thy gaze upon me, sir. I have a shield, and am not afraid to use it. I see a glimmer over there to the right, which is something I definitely should be investigating. And shield up. And shield up. Oh my goodness, I was extremely low on stamina there. Yep, okay, I judged that wrong, didn't I? Oh, goodness. Okay. Yep. Got him. And that definitely... That might even merit a, a flask. You know what? I'll heal it up. Because then I can... Um... X? No, it's not X. C, C, C... Z yeah, okay. Uh, R? R, yes. Remembering the controls now. It's been a little bit of a while. I should probably unequip some of these. But now... Pasture's new, baby. Which means I can totally die and be un unable to get any of this lot back. And even... Possibly grow overconfident. Right. I should pick these as well. Why not? There we go. Now. Hello. I see place I want to go with shiny skull on it. And a big cliff with nothing particularly harmful at the top. Um, that is a great big skull with horns on the ground. Yeah, all right, all right, I get it. The ground's shaking, I'm moving. You're at the top. I don't think they, I hope the giants won't jump down from there. Um, so as we know, um, the, the guys who did Guild Ball, um, uh, what's it? They've got the they got the rights to do an Elden Ring board game, like they did with their Dark Souls board game now. And they've shown off a couple of the sculpts of some of the miniatures, and according to them, the giants that I've been calling giants all this time are trolls. Oh, who are you, sir? You are not friendly. You are dead. You're that thing I can summon, aren't you? Um sorcery ahead. Yeah, no kidding. How did he not notice me when I was out here breaking that skull up? Never mind. I see a point of grace that I should probably want to head towards and discover. But I should also explore around it. Uh oh, what's this? Somebody died here. And I should a attempt not to emulate their misfortune. Hello. I see a person in the building in armour. I see an animal. This doesn't look too hostile. But this does look like a place... I oh, hello. I'll get some more of that gold-tinged excrement. That amber turd, you could say. That shit's golden. I can... Am I likely to run to bats exploring out here near the edge of this cliff from, from up there? It does not look like it, and I may get to scout out a bit of what's below. What does this say here? Giant, oh giant. Praise the giant. I see three giants. And some kind of sewn statue there that looks like it might have a big penis. Um, four giants. Okay, and bats. And a ruined, ruined structure. That is a place to probably be going in with... Okay, okay, one, two, three, four, five giants. The statue... Oh. 
yeah, that seems to be possibly protruding from the statue and not just behind it. I'm going to run away from all those trolls. I'm still going to call them giants for now. But it does mean there may be actual giants who are bigger than them. Yeah, the miniature for the troll looked really good. He was he drawing the sword and getting ready to fight with it. Not just with it magically stuck on his back, not attached by any visible means. Uh, that looks like an area to explore, but I should probably go into the building. Even greet the individual I see within there. But also, I'd like to explore this path. Make sure nothing is going to be between the path and the cliff up here. So that's part of the broken bridge. And hey, hey, another plant I can pick. Look, more berries. I can sell them to help pay for my levels. Um, have I gone too far off the path? Yes, I have. Okay. No obvious monsters yet. That's good. Okay, I think I've got a safe point to get to over here now. By which I mean I can get there without being killed. Uh, ooh. Edge of cliff somewhere over there. Don't mind me, boar. Good. Yeah, you run away. Just like I'm about to run away from you now. Towards the building where I intend to meet a stranger. I don't like having to put the wild boars down when they get aggressive. There's, you know, there's not much need for it. As I say, picking up all this glowing shit. Because, look, I might get some more crafting recipes later on, okay? At some point in the... This fence doesn't want to let me through. There we go. And here we are. Point of Grace. Salvation. Yeah, what's that one called? The Warmaster's Shack. I suspect... No, 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 no. I suspect I am nothing like ready to be it's not shift to walk it's not shift to walk what is it to walk the control no i don't want to run in here and headbutt the guy because i overstep or something right um alt Yes, that's it. I will be a civilized human being. And I would say from the look of his armor, that is bulky, that's highly decorated, he could indeed be a master of war, and that's a fierce ponytail. Those loose strands, which he probably doesn't mind, they're not going to impede his vision too much or anything. Uh, he's got a short stubble beard. Let's say hello. Not seen you before. Name's Bernard. Tarnished, just like you. Let me ask you something. Are you here in the lands between to take up the fight? Does your faith in the guidance of grace hold firm, despite the collapse of the Golden Order? That it does. My faith holds firm. Yes, you're a tarnished through and through. Takes me back. That's a quality needed now more than ever. Any interest in bearing the torch of my battle arts? Oh, you have battle arts to teach. Sword. Picked up a fair few tricks in my time, too. Now's the time to pass them on to a good and proper tarnished like you. I then teach me your skills. Oh, hello. Ashes of Ash of War, stamp, upward cut. Usable on swords, axes, and hammers. Uh, turns them heavy. Heavy is uses strength and loses dex. Uses only strength for scaling. Um, Ash of War kick usable on all melee armaments. So give me the same as for mace. Ash of War endure. 
Oh, is that what I think it is? Is that the old mace art from, um... I, I really hope it is. Ash of War, Warcry. Usable melee armor, so grants affinities. So that's the one all of these riders have been using, isn't it? Ash of War, Spinning Slash. Spinning Slash and Keen. Keen is dexterity scaling only, I think. Ash of War, Impaling Thrust. I believe I have that already. Colossal Weapons accepted. Not accepted, accepted. Ash of War, Quick Step. So it's like a quick dodge to the side. Dart to the side. Stormblade. I don't have that. Parry. No thank you. Never get that right. No skill. Usable on shields and torches. Um. I'll have this. Just in case it's what I think it is. There's a myriad of battle arts in these lands that I've yet to discover. Mementos of all the warriors who raised their arms in battle, lost and died. A fine tale, all told of true chivalric romance. That's how I fell in love with the sword and the arts of combat. It grants meaning even to falling in battle, to death itself. Indeed, and that's apparently all he has to say. Well. Until we meet again. And meet again, I'm sure we shall, for you have many battle arts for me to learn, Warmaster. And now that the sun has risen, I'm going to head on up this hillside and hope I don't get murdered. Also, going to steer clear of the giants. Um, I should probably be sneaking to overlook what lies below when I come to this edge. Hello, bird. Hello, bird. Hello, bird. You is dead now. I got your slumbering egg. And there's a skull down there which shall be mine. Also, these sunflowers. That's a lot of sunflowers. We should praise the sun. Or at least respect it, although it does not seem to... It's over there, behind yonder tower. Obscured by its great bulk. And just some tumbleweed. Now, what do we see down here? I see another one of those riders. Looks like a camp. There's a campfire. That's another one of their camps. Actually, what the hell is that? They're hanging on. That's something that's going to... No, no, no. It's arms and a head and a back. So the legs are up there. There's an item. To get that, I would need to probably drop down from above. And that would alert many of the warrior, warriors in the camp of it. Is there indeed a camp full of warriors over there? And is there a way I can get a better view of them? Oh. Oh, hello. Um... Dropping down from here would be a big drop. Get their attention. Because I would come out of sneaky mode. Is there a way I could... Get up there. Up the side of that rock. Jumping up. Without attracting their attention. So they're mostly lightly armoured. And more importantly, is this... This is like here, right? So it's not the one... Um, not the camp down here. So separate camp. Let's venture back towards the giants. Bad idea. Going back this way. And I'll stop sneaking once I'm past this point here. I have a skull to collect. And if that battle art does what I hope it does, it will allow me to um, you know, trade blows of enemies, tank up, take heavy hits, and wallop back as well. All of which I heartily approve of. Um, acquire materials. Okay, more root resin. Not yellowy, orangey poo. The middle colour on the traffic lights. 
Okay. Okay, what's over here? Apart from quite possibly enemies I have not yet met. I'm getting excited now. My fingers aren't quite trembling, but I... Oh, God. Yep. Get killed. You dropped out of the air like cheating, cowardly things. Is that the last of them? I believe it is, because I got something back. Excellent. And I'm now on... Yeah. Nearly back where I was. That was unexpected. Ooh. That's got me on edge now. It's got me cautious. Got me wary of walking up this road. Oh, come on. Um, yeah, I see you. Didn't see you, though. Was that the last of them? I believe it was. Many wolves stalk this path. There's a warrior down there by the fire who I want to confront, but first off, I want to... Ooh. Can I literally just climb up the side of it? Oh, hello, ball monster. Let's chop you up. There we go. Um, so the building... Um, is it possible to get on that on that ledge. Go round there. No, I think I'm going to have to drop down from above for that one. Okay. And in theory, anything I lose over here is relatively easy to recover. What was that? That looked like a tail from one of the big giant squirrel things because of the building over there, which should allow me to return to this spot fairly safely. Big screws running everywhere. They're, are they supposed to remind me of Ratatosk? Oh, hello. Potential iron golem over there to be aware of. And more towers of the bridge. I'm not wanting the bridge. What is that behind the tree? There is... It's, it's more greenery or... A creature with a sword and shield. Looked like a, a bush blowing in the wind. No, it's a rider on a horse with a lance. Okay. Now then, over here. Where is the building below me? The building is far out there. And from here, no. I think I may need to be here. Um, it would be very easy to misjudge that leap. And there are soldiers down there patrolling. I imagine this is one of those situations where I'm supposed to use my lovely horse. And like or dodge roll here off the edge of this very ledge, not that one up there above me. I think I'm not going to risk it for now. And I'll head back down this rise, staying away from the spearman on horseback. Because I am not used to his kind. And I will drop a quick heal spell there. Because... The warrior by the fire may alert some of the other soldiers... Hello. Why than that? Some of the other soldiers at the camp to my presence. Oh, it's you! Hello. I would like you to explode now. Please do. Excellent. Do I get a pickup? I get a pickup. That tree almost made me think there was a giant walking past in the distance there, because I heard it growl. Hoo -hoo. Let's head back and hope no more wolves drop out of the air. The air wolves 
with their howl, at least we get the warning howl before they approach. That's a good thing. You know what, if I hadn't spent that... What was it, 600? Hello. Who's that standing out there? On their own. That's not sitting by the fire. Oh, it's one of those statues. Um, with an arm missing, so I'm not supposed to do anything about that one. These chains with bells are obvious traps. There's a warrior by the fire. Um, the one over there by that fire, I think, is a rider. So what could I do without triggering any of these traps? The risk is not that I would trigger them on the way in, but if I'm falling back, heavily outnumbered, I would trigger them on my return attempt. So let's be sneaking. I can sneak through here between the traps. Are there any here? There are not. Are there traps between here and that rocky rise on which they keep guard? They maintain their vigil. Um, there appears to be no one at that other campfire now. Okay. Um, if I can get up here. Down, down, boy. This is so dodgy. Right, I can't get up here. Okay, that's very bad of you. And I will kill you with my sword. You down there. Come on. Oh god, what's that thing? That is a very bad, 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 bad wolfy thing. Yeah, you can come up here and get killed by my blade. Excellent. Um, I don't like that. That hurts. I should drink a potion. And, um... You know what I should do? I should get up here and check to see how many more are in that camp. If I got them all... Okay, smouldering butterfly. There are two more in the camp. Three, three. I see a third over there who looks like he's got a different shaped helmet. This one, let's try draw him and him alone. Yeah, you pal. Are you going to come fight me or what? I need you away from that one who looks to be heavily armoured by the fire. Come on. Okay, we'll just do this. Uh, you are... Oh, dear God. You're trouble. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey, hey. Um, Z, 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 Z. Ah. Get dogs. Look, you like your dogs in this camp, so yes. Okay, good runes, no plunder, sadly. I do have the wolves to help me, so I'll press on forward into this camp. But before I do, hey, I'll drink a potion. Which I may recover upon slaying this last warrior. Oh, there's a statue there which will point to a secret dungeon full of stuff. Hey, you. Oh, shit, there's two of you. 
there's one. At least two blows of my sword are good enough to fell those. Oh, uh, hello. I didn't see you there. You're going to die now. Uh, how about you? You're not throwing stuff, so you get chopped up. Last? No, not last. Oh, shit balls. Killed with a sword, and yeah. I used a South Park swear word that's made up and no one really uses, and hello. Please don't be a mimic. A beast crest heater shield. I will compare that to my own. Mushrooms. Oh, whoa. Didn't see you at all. Right. It does make sense there would be warriors on the other side of this camp. Especially as we're not getting the... Nice. The reward for killing the, the whole group yet. The, the notification of... No enemy ahead. Well, there's been plenty of them, so checking back here. I suppose now the brave thing to do, to do would be to go up there, leap off the cliff, and see if I can find them. The more cowardly and sensible thing to do would be to check down this road up that... How do I get up there to that statue? That is the question I should be asking myself. Is it... It's probably like... Um, oh, hello, dog. You need to die. You're part of this group. Oh, three! Wow. Is that it? That's it. Alright. So if I go up here... I'm thinking I would have to skirt around the camp from the other side. Um, so, literally go back up the cliff, come around this way. But I might be able to do it this way, too. What are you lot fighting? Some kind of scenery. Hello? Hello? Look, I'm not expecting you to be able to follow me. So, hey. Giants beware. That is, me be aware of giants, not giants be afraid of me. Giants fear me not. I'm not a threat to you yet. I might be later, when I'm feeling a little more confident and courageous. In the meantime, however, as my wolves fade out of existence, I approach this statue. Nope, they're not going yet. Where is it? It's down there. All right. I'm looking to walk down first to see if I can retrace my steps once I'm down there. If I have to jump down, I'll need to find my own way. You know, I don't think I need to find my way back up. Yeah, you lot stay close. They are incredibly close to phasing out at this point. But let's go see what this statue wants to show me. Sure, I'll take this and this. They've been so close to the edge of the area for a while. It's going to be over there, isn't it? Right, you, hello. Show me. It is over there somewhere. Can I get... up? from down there. I believe I can. I should attempt to follow this guidance now while it's available. Guide and gatekeeper for those returning to the roots. Okay. Returning to the roots. I do need to get to the roots of the tree at some point. Statue could be guide. The gatekeeper is likely to be some kind of foe who must be defeated who is unlikely to allow me safe passage. Um, do I have... Good, no. I was checking I didn't have a summon pre prepared and that I had my potions ready for easy use. And overall, I've done okay here. I've, I've found places. Hello, what's this? Exalted Flesh. 
Ugh. At some point I should try and get up there and find that thing. It's probably something really important that would make my build great and uh, that I would really struggle to do without, but I am not confident in my ability to get there safely anytime soon. Would drop a lot of um, runes, probably at the top of the cliff, and don't fancy my chances, even though I could, like, circumvent the wolves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This way, this way, this way. I should be cautious. So he is telling me... somewhere over here. If I stay close to the cliff, until I know this area is fairly safe, Oh, hello, is it here? This is probably exactly what he was indicating. I'll open it. If there's a point of grace inside, which there is, I will go claim that for death touched catacombs. I imagine this will be a very dangerous place. So I'm just finding this site of lost grace getting more knowledge on the map. Late day. Hmm. And I should probably head back soon. Also, check I'm still recording. All good. So. Uh, this is at the base of that broken bridge, which still continues for quite some way. And it would be nice to explore around it. This looks incredibly safe for now. And I'm thinking that I should be going down that path instead. As far beyond this camp as I can. In case there's another point of grace that I could pick up. Uh, and also to see what is along that road. This is a place I can come back to because I can go back to the point of grace inside the tomb. So that's one of those optional dungeons. Um, so they're either good for leveling up, or they're a place to come back to when I'm a bit better. You know, like, like tougher if I feel good enough to take them on at the side thing. Right, have I come down here? Not quite. Could I go up there? Yes, do I want to? I think I want to explore a little further along this road. And I spy with my little eye statues up ahead which I hope are not a great big warning they're a great big warning there's a man there with a huge helmet what looks like a giant clamshell on his head there's a site of grace just down there which is so dangerously close to him I'm not sure if I can realistically go and pick it up without getting killed. I'll take those plants for um, That is horrendous. So he's got a large kind of big heavy two-handed weapon. Looks like some kind of mace. His back's turned. Look, I'm just claiming this and running away. Yeah, don't mind me, Mr. Monster. I'm just gonna leg it. Hello? Can you hear me? What? Help me. I'm stuck. Oh, dear God. Hello? Well, that's prolonged the episode. Anyone? Sounds like he's at the top of the cliff. So I will venture that way and hope I don't get into too much trouble. Oh, I see you. Can you hear me? Yeah. Me. I want to check if I... You're a pot. Hello? A pot with Anyone? arms. And there's a dragonfly nearby. This cannot be good. This looks like something from uh, the Hello? samurai game, beginning with an S. Um, me? Me. Look, I'm I want to deal with this first, okay? 
Look, are you going to come fight me or what? Whoa! Big, big octopus thing with tentacles. Not good. Don't want to go near that. We've we've had experiences with one of those before. Look, are you going to come? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You come Hello? fight us. Can you hear me? Help me. I'm stuck. Hello? Um, oh god, what's Hello? it called now? Y you know, the samurai game. Oh well. Oh, my stars. I'm so happy to see you. I am Alexander, also known as the Iron Fist. And as you can see, I'm stuck here. Please, can you help me out of this? You look more like an iron belly than an iron fist. I hope I don't regret this, oh talking pot with arms that don't look like they're made out of pot stuff. My thanks, a thousand thanks. Just give me a good smack from the rear with something nice and big. And I'll pop clean out, I'm sure. Don't dally. No, no, there's no need to fret. I'm very well trained. Give it your all, I say. I don't like this. He might, um... He, he might react badly to this. Come on. No, no, I want to read Give the message. Me smack from behind with something nice and big. I'll pop clean out. I'm sure of it. Ah. Uh. Piercing required a head, but be wary of dung. Oh god, is, is something bad gonna happen? Is he gonna shit all over me when I... Did that do it? Don't stop now, friend. I'm gonna just keep clobbering away at the old behind. Put those doubts to rest. I'll be just fine. I'm very well trained. Give it your all, I say. I don't want to break you. New triumphant delight. Uh, okay. Um, hello, Mr. Pot. You seem to have... Oh, God, what's in here? Read message. Behold, whole. Yeah, the... The, the, the community's weird. Ah. Well played, good sir. Well played. Though that mighty wallop of yours almost spelt the end of me. <laughs> I do apologize. Ah. Well... I'm out now, and that's what counts. I thank you. And as a token of my appreciation, he, I'd like you to have this. He put his hand inside me. Some more exalted flesh. Um, not sure what I approve, but um, who are you and what do you do here? What else can you tell me? Once again, pleasure is mine. I am the warrior Jar known as. Iron Fist Alexander. I journey to the east, where I intend to further my education in the ways of the world. Uh, that bridge might Beyond be a problem. Beyond these lands lie the scarlet, rot-blighted Caled Wilds. And upon their southern edge is Redmain Castle, in which a festival of combat is being held. Oh. I'd heard whispers of such festivities before. Doesn't the notion set your breast a flutter? <laughs> what else can you tell me? I'm heading eastward to ah. Redmain Castle on the southern edge of the scarlet, rot blighted Caled Wilds. I've heard there's to be a festival held there. That's all you're going to tell me, isn't it? I'm heading eastward yep, yep, to yep. Redmain okay. Castle on the southern edge of the scarlet, rot blighted Caled Wilds. I've heard there's to be a festival held there. I do need to train more with the reduced reach of this mace. Now, these monsters over there are very nasty, and I don't really want to tangle with them if I don't have to. Yep, you're down there, that's fine. You just keep being angry on that. Did he just fall over or, like, fall to his knees or something? He's very 
angry and very dangerous. I don't want to mess with him. That looks like a giant inside the tree, but it also looks like a tree. Can I sneak past all of these and avoid having to deal with them? I mean, yeah, I can, like, drop down here, can't I? Oh, I see... I see a, a dung beetle ball. I'll ignore that because I don't need it. I can come back here later and try and find it if I need to. For now, it's just... It's facing that way, so that's probably the direction it's likely to run if I approach. Yeah, you, you carry on being angry. I'm just going to come up here and see if I can get a view over the bridge. The bridge... There's a blue thing rising up under the bridge. I can't see all the way down to the bottom, but there are trees down there, so I can see that it's a very unhealthy distance for me to drop. And... So this is a new... It could continue up from this stream here. So let's ignore that and explore in this direction. I see tentacles coming out of the big thing, reaching out and exploring. Looks like some kind of snake's head, like an eel, with no eyes on the end of it. A mouth opening and closing. Or no, no, no. It looks like two or three smaller tentacles, like grabbers of some kind. Um, at the end. What? There. Okay. That's what that was. More of those. Okay, insect. Beware. Tree, you're in my way. So there is a giant there. Although not necessarily the thing I thought was a giant. Um, one giant I may be able to handle at a push. Once I've got a bit more practice in. For now, I'm not sure I want to tackle one giant just yet. I can go out this way a bit. So I should be exploring along the edge of that ravine. That gorge, that canal, right? Down here, I see a building, a ruined building. Hey, have I? Is this? No, no. If this is the one I see, we've got this ca raider camp, rider camp here, and this area here where I've often fought two of the riders. So that building there, if that's that broken one, then I'm I'm down here. Good to know. Um, in which case, this giant is fairly isolated. I should switch back to my sword, because it's a weapon I know. Is that a skull? Is it going to glow if I get closer? Ooh. Oh, what is that? That, that white glowing mist radiating from a point. I will venture a little closer to see if those are skulls. But I don't want to... So that's not a skull. That's a, a bad skull. Wrong kind of skull. I should stay hidden in the bushes. I see berries. I'm going to pick those. I don't see a massive need to endanger my life confronting this giant if I don't have to. So, that looks like a message someone has placed. And I see no skull. I do see berries. I'm going to sneak down. Sneak and get those berries. Is there a way I could knock that giant off? Probably not. Uh, I see nothing overly useful here, so I'm just going to meander back, pick these berries along the way, and leave this giant to his ponderings. If I go up there, I'm liable to face more giants. Um, not massively progressing towards... A There's a skull! which I will absolutely cherish. Hello you. Right, come on. Gotcha. It's not as hard as with the mace. 
Okay, those are there. The pot is there. Up there is where the giants are. Let's just stay low in case those in case those things in the water take an unhealthy interest in me. Because I am not in the least prepared to tackle those yet. I can take the smaller ones, no problem. It's the big one that is really bad news for me. Okay, am I getting up very easily from down here? No. Same goes for the other side of that bridge. And while that warrior on the bridge may prove to be considerably less challenging than I suspect, he could also be a serious issue. So I want to make it back to that hut. And the reason I'm going on foot instead of teleporting is if I teleport, it, things will respawn. And I'm just on the lookout for anything I can pick up along the way, like this. Or any other enemies I may have missed who are worth defeating on the... Whoa! I'm also trying not to trigger any of these traps. See? That's, that's learning. Remember, trap is here, trap is bad for me, and I don't need to break those fires to get at the smouldering butterflies contained within. So there may be one here. There is not. Or over here. Look, I'm learning, okay? I'm learning. I might be able to tackle this camp again in future. And actually, that would get me a decent amount of runes. So that's something I should definitely be considering. This warrior also, if I can get him to drop more stuff. Um, so I do need to be increasing um, arcane again. Also, a bit more vigor would be nice, and endurance. But I'm a long way away from levelling, so let's not think too much on that. That is this side of the bell chain. And now I'm relatively safe to venture this way down the path. Hello, Skull. So actually, I'm sitting on... 2600. So that would be 5083 of my 7000 required. And I think this was some good exploring. I'm relatively pleased with how this turned out today. Um, I think let's just meander on along here a little bit longer. Um, yeah, this is all safe now. So, I can go over here. I could go here and clear out this area for like 600. Down here for like 1200-ish? I don't know. I think I'll just go back to the church for now and end the episode. Because it's probably been long enough. I did a bit of exploration. And I should be pleased with that. You know. Nothing too bad happened, and it turned out well. So I am going to end the episode here. I hope you've all enjoyed this one. Hey look, I got a bit of exploration, I count that as progress. And I'll look forward to seeing you all in the very next one, whenever that may be. I'm going to say goodbye for now though, and cheerio everyone. See you all soon.